संपूर्ण नमस्कार म दीपराज रेग्मी गणित विज्ञान शिक्षक मैथ लर्निंग विथ दीप सर यूट्यूब चैनल र फेसबुक पेज मार्फत हेर बस्ने यहाँ हार्दिक स्वागत करना चाहूँ विद्यार्थी भाई बहनी भिडियो सुरू बा अंतिम समय हेदिन को लगी मग्रह करना चाहूँ इस भिडियोलाई आप को मज पुराने को लगी लाइक सेयर कमेंट रब कर भग्रह करद धन्यवाद नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू प्रूफ एनदर आउट थेरम विच इज लाइक दिस इन दी गिवेन फिगर इफ ए इज बाइसेक अफ एंगल बी एस सी ए इज बाइसेक अफ एंगल बी एस सी प्रूफ दैट एम एन पैल टू बी सी नाउ इन दी क्वेश्चन वी हेव टू पार्ट फर्स्ट पार्ट इज गिवन एंड लास्ट पार्ट इज टू प्रूफ एंड हेन्स गिवन इज एंगल बी ए इज बी ए इज इक्वल टू एंगल सी ए because we have given that is bisector of angle bac a divides to equal parts of angle bac which means angle bae is equal to angle eac to prove which is given at the last m and parallel to bc we have to make construction here so we have to join a and b so construction is joining a and b Which is written here. Now, this proof uh, I will begin from rough. That is, angle BAE is equal to angle EAC, which is given here by the equation. This angle is theta, and hence this is also theta because. A is bisector of angle BAC, so angle BAE is equal to angle EAC. Now, uh, all of you are familiar with the statement that these two angles, these two angles are standing on the same arc BE, BE same arc BE, and hence. These two angles are inscribed angle, and uh, the inscribed angle is standing on the same arc, same arc B are equal. So we can write this angle is theta, and this angle is also theta. This from relation, this from three relation, we can see here these two angles are equal, and this angle is theta, and this is also theta. These two angles are also equal. Also equal. It shows that it shows that inscribed angles are equal. Equal. It means the points M, N, D, A are coinciding because because these two angles are inscribed angles, which equals and hence A, M, N, D is cyclic equilateral. Now we can draw here. We can draw here another circle. And the circle, and the circle. Uh, again, again we can see that this this angle is alpha, and hence this angle is also alpha. This angle is alpha. Let us suppose that, and this angle is alpha. In this circle, in this small circle, these two angles are these two angles are inscribed angle. And hence, angle D A Yn is equal to angle D Yn Yn. This angle is alpha, and this angle is alpha. Now, and the circle, great circles A B E C D. This angle and this angle. These angles, both angles are standing on the arc D C. On the arc D C. This angle and this angle both are standing on the RBC. It means the the inscribing the inscribed angle is standing on the same arc CD are otherwise equal. So this is also 
alpha. Now you can see there these two angles are equal. This is alpha and this is alpha. It means angle DM M is equal to angle DBC. Now all of you can see here what types of these angles. Now it is clear that these two angles are corresponding angles. If corresponding angles are equal, then the lines will be parallel. So we can write M and parallel to BC. We can write M and parallel to BC. Now we can prove it in pattern. One number statement is uh, we have given that angle BAE is equal to angle CAE. Yeah, angle BAE, angle BAE is equal to angle CAE. Reason by given by given by given two number statement. We have also here angle BAE is equal to angle BDE. Both are in square angle, so angle BAE BAE is equal to angle BDE BDE two number being being in square angle being in square angle angle is standing same arc. Standing on same arc, same arc B. Now, another statement is from statement one and two. Yes, angle BAE is equal to angle CAE, angle BAE is equal to angle BD, which means that these two are equal angle. CAE is equal to angle BDE. BDE by equal axiom. Left hand side are equal, so right hand side also equal. Uh, here, from statement one and two. From statement, from statement one and two. Two. Here yeah, angle C A E is equal to angle B D. Angle C A E is equal to angle B D. Here yeah. we can see that these two angles are equal. It means these two angles are in square angle. So so we can draw here circle. We can draw here circle. Circle. Uh, it means E M and D A are concentric. Points, points, yum, yum, D, and A are concyclic. Are concyclic. Concyclic. Being equal in square angle. Being equal in square angle. Inscribe angle. Now another statement five. Five. Uh, in small circle A young young D, we can see here angle D A M. Angle D A M is equal to angle D M M. These two are also inscribed angles. Angle D A M. Angle D A M is equal to angle D M N D M N being being inscribed angle 
इसका एंगल स्टैंडिंग एंड सेम आर एंड सेम आर सेम आर डी एन डी एन इन स्मॉल सर्कल नाउ अनदर स्टेटमेंट इन सिक्स इन ग्रेट सर्कल आउटर सर्कल्स ए बी E C D. We can see here angle B A C. Angle B A C is equal to angle D B C. These two angles are in square angle, standing on the same arc B C. Now we can write angle D A C equal to angle D B C. Angle D Angle D A N D A N R angle D A C which is same is equal to angle D B C D B C six number reason uh, this is also in square angle being in square angle angle standing. On the same arc, on the same arc, same arc DC in grid circle. By combining statement five and six, all of you can see here. By combining these two statement five and six, here angle D and D are equal. So also angle D M M is equal to angle DBC. In statement seven, we can write by equal axiom. Angle D M M is equal to angle D B C. D B C. Reason from statement five and six. From statement from statement five and six. By equal axiom. Now in Eight. Here we can see we can see angle D M N is equal to angle angle D B C. These two angles are equal. Yeah, these two angles are equal. All of you can see has both these angles are corresponding angles. This corresponding angle equal implies that M N parallel to B C. Eight number statement we can write. Yam yam parallel to BC because corresponding angles are equal in statement seven. Being being corresponding being corresponding corresponding angles are equal equal in statement in statement 7 7 and hence this theorem is proved now this theorem is proved